Hi, I'm Penny Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of the Travel Weekly Group, and I'm standing here with Kevin May, Editor of our sister publication, Travolution. We're here among the great and the good of the travel industry. They gather together once a year to discuss the challenges ahead. We're here in sunny Cyprus at the Aphrodite Hills Resort. Kevin, what do you think the challenges are? Yeah, I mean, we've got a really interesting couple of days ahead of us. Um, things kick off very early tomorrow morning. An uh, organisation called Roots is going to lay down the gauntlet to the tour operators amongst us here, amongst the delegates, um, by saying that they don't, they're not innovative enough. They follow the, the, the lead of the airlines by picking new routes and destinations. Well, they're not going to like that. They're not going to like that, which is, makes it interesting for everyone else if you're not a tour operator. Um, the, the following morning, we've got a, a session with Ian McKay, who's speaking with our boss, Simon Ferguson. Uh, his first appearance at the uh, IT so it would be interesting to see what he's got to say and I think there's a lot of interest in what he has to say from the delegates, you know, uh, lastminute.com successful online company. Uh, online company. We also have uh, a session celebrating 50 years of the cruise industry. Yeah, it's amazing it's been around that long. Uh, very important for the travel trade these days. Um, we also have some, uh, some speakers, uh, motivational speakers. We also have Ken Robinson and also an appearance by John Prescott, no less. Oh, wow. That sounds yeah. really good. What about the price of oil? Do you think that's going to be in front of people's minds? Um, I think it will be in some respects. It's not an agenda item, but it, people are talking about it. They're getting very worried about it. There's, uh, uh, there's a few airlines that have, uh, have uh, seen the curtains uh, uh, quite recently business class only airlines and um, there's a lot of pressure on them to make sure that the hedging that they've done uh, for, for, for fuel prices is the, is the correct one um, but this is also impacting on how consumers are thinking about what they do with their holiday does it fit in with their lifestyle choice and things like that so it will be a topic of discussion I'm sure for that. Still on the price of oil do you think that the uh, that the escalation in the price of oil is going to be passed on to the consumer travel wise? Uh, interesting interesting uh, you talk to many people in the travel industry and and in some respects, they would say this, but there is a feeling that the holiday, the annual holiday, is something that is kind of sacred to most people. They would do anything not to give up their annual holiday. Now, where we might start to see some pressure, and this is what people are starting to say to us, is that that extra city break that they perhaps took a couple of times a year, they may not do. Um, for example, a very, very long haul holiday that they went for three weeks on, they may only go for two weeks, or they might scale it back to I don't know, the Middle East or the, the Eastern Mediterranean, like Cyprus, for example. Um, it takes a lot for people to start giving up something as important to them as their annual holiday. Well, I think we both know about that, and we're certainly going to be watching events unfold here. Yep. I think if you would like to keep up with the events, do tune in to TW Television. We'll be covering this conference for the whole week ahead. We've also got breaking news on our website, www.travelweekly.co.uk or travolution.co.uk. Stay tuned.